Hey guys, there's a little bit of a misconception in dog training today that e-collars are only for tough dogs and big dogs and mean dogs and rough dogs and stuff like that. And why would you ever use an e-collar on a small dog? And so, small dogs need the same rules as big dogs. Small dogs need to be obedient off leash. Small dogs need to, oh, pretty sweet. Small dogs need to not be aggressive. Small dogs need the same thing as, as, as big dogs. And so, when we're training dogs, the tools that we use might, you know, adjust from one dog to the next, but overall, are gonna be pretty similar. Um, because the tools that we use are designed not for tough, mean dogs, they're designed for leverage. So here's the thing. Any dog that you're training, there needs to be a physical component with the training, right? Because if there's not a physical component, all you're doing is you're talking to the dog. You're saying come, you're saying sit. And good luck training your dog by simply talking to it. If, that, if you could do that, then uh, we wouldn't have a job. It'd be easy to train a dog. And so we need a physical component. Now on one end, there's the positive end. And so the physical component might be praise, it might be food, um, you know, you know, things like that. On the other end, where we're trying to communicate that you know these rules are, are necessary, we want to use tools that give us the best leverage, that allow for the least amount to give the biggest results. Because if you're only using treats, you're never going to get to, you know, you're never going to get to the same levels you could if you're using proper correction. And so that's where a little guy like this, uh, hey, little Nola, you know, an e-collar can still be a great tool for teaching a solid recall. Nola doesn't like to come when called. Um, it could be a solid tool for teaching us about anything. So I would use the same concept, only I'm going to tailor it to her. Hey, good girl. So there I use a tiny bit of stimulation. Good. What a good baby. Tiny bit of stimulation. She came, so I released the stimulation. Good girl. That's a good positive. Good girl. So I'll let her get a little bit away from me. Come here. Good. Good. So I'm on a very low level with the stim. You can tell it's just a little bit itchy, but she stays happy. Good girl. Good little baby. Good girl. Come here. Good. There we go. You start to get it. That time she started coming before I was able to use the stim. So what I'm doing in introducing the stimulation, so I'm introducing it, I'm asking her to come, and I'm adding a little bit of help with the leash. Now, what this turns into is she starts to recognize, okay, that little tickle means to come. And so later, when she's a little bit more advanced, she just started the training. So later when she's a little bit more advanced, she can be off leash, we can tell her to come, and little Lola, who's like, I'm a Yorkie, I want to bark at things, says, no, I don't want to come. We can use our invisible leash, essentially, and, and have her come. Come, oh, good girl. Good girl. That time I didn't use the stim either. She's very sensitive about the leash. Does she always get weird when she trips on the leash? Yeah, yeah. I do. I love little dogs. That's the... Well, the leash is in my way. The leash is in my way. Oh, dear. Oh, so, same thing with place command. Come on. Come on. Place. So I'm going to help her get on. If she gets off, place. Place. Oh, good girl. That's a good baby. Place. Good girl. That's a good girl. I'm six foot one. Small dogs are hard for me. This is a lot of a... Uh, I need you to be this tall. Good girl. I was going to say, I took a picture. Your, your foot is the same size as she is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing my Nolas right now. Good girl. And that's where little dogs like this... I don't like... I don't like to encourage jumping or anything like that. I guess I kind of am because with her, because she's kind of a sensitive dog, if I give her praise and she's like, ah, you know, she jumps because she's excited, I'm gonna allow that to pass. If it was a 100 pound Rottweiler, I'd be thinking differently. Okay, come on. Good girl. No, no. Come on. Place. Good. 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 So here she gets off. She's thinking about getting off. So if I raise my hand, it means I'm using the stem. Place, place, good. There we go, come on. Good girl. So like I say, the e-collar is not this big, overwhelming thump. You know, it's not this big, you know, mean tool. It's a tool that we can use on little guys. It's a tool that we can use on big guys when we're looking for off-leash reliability in a way that's much more complete than you'll ever get with just treats, in a way that's much more easy on the dog than weeks and weeks and weeks and, and months and months of just leash work. 
this kind of is a shortcut. I hate to use the term shortcut because oftentimes, oftentimes there's a negative connotation with shortcut. You know, people think, oh, you know, shortcut because you don't want to do the work. No, I want a shortcut because I want to make it easier on the dog. And so if I can use a tiny little stem, we're at like 10 on this, which is tiny, tiny, tiny. It's, uh, uh, it's meaningful. Come, come, good girl. That's a good girl, what a good girl. Good girl, good girl, yes, yes, yes. One more place, come in. So I'm not gonna hit the button, I'm just gonna help her on, come on. Place, good. Now once she's on, if she gets off, I'll, I'll communicate the concept on how to get back on. Good girl. So there, place. So I want to realize, just because I bent over doesn't mean you can get up. You need to wait for the command, or you need the release. Okay, 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 come on, come on, okay, that's a good girl. That's a good girl, yes you are. Good girl. All right, simple as that, folks. Not a tool, not a torture device, just a tool to kind of help these dogs understand things soon on an off-leash level.